Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you a free operating system designed for children 2 to 12 years old called Doodoo Linux. Doodoo Linux is based off the Linux Debian operating system, so it's way more safe and secure than any Windows operating system. And the goal of Doodoo Linux is to make an operating system free, easy, and fun to use, and accessible to all children around the world. It's available in a lot of different languages already, and they're continuing to add more. And one of the best things about Doodoo Linux is it's ran off of a live CD, which means you don't have to install it on your computer to run it. You simply put the disk in the drive, restart the computer, and Doodoo Linux will load. And when the children are finished playing, you can pull the disk from the drive, restart the computer, and it'll boot back into your primary operating system. And this operating system is loaded with close to 50 applications that have been chosen to be accessible for children 2 years old and up. It also comes with a pre-filtered web browser, so the kids can browse the internet, but they can't go to any unsafe sites. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And one other thing is you also have the option to create a live CD or a live USB. With a live USB, with the help of persistence, the kids' changes in progress in their games can be saved. And this can't be done with the live CD. And then to add more security, there's also parental controls. And I have Doodoo -Doo Linux loaded up right now. It's in VirtualBox. But first I'm going to show you how to get it. In your web browser, if you type in Doodoo -Doo Linux, D-O-U, D-O-U, And I'm going to click on the Download Doodoo -doo Linux link. Here's where you can download the ISO. This is the English version. If you scroll down the screen, you have the option of downloading in a lot of other different languages. And this is where it's saying they're also working on other languages to add. So depending on what language you wanted, you just simply click on the link. Either open it with your image burner or save the file. If you don't already have an image burner, or if you're not familiar with how to burn an image, please see my video on image burn. And I'm going to leave open with image burn checked. I'm going to click OK. And it will begin downloading. And then once it's finished downloading, you would burn it to a disk or your USB drive. Now I'm going to go back to the operating system. When it first starts up, you have two options. You can start Doodoo -Doo Linux or start Doodoo -Doo Linux without persistence. And again, if you're running off the live CD, you won't need persistence. So you could just leave Start Doodoo -Doo Linux highlighted and hit Enter. And that's what I'm going to do. And it will begin to load. And this is what it looks like as it's loading. Nice kids theme. Saying hello. And now we're to the main menu. And here are the different categories. There's Discover the Mouse, Master the Mouse, Suite of Educational Games, Learn to Draw, More Educational Games, and then there's Mini Doodoo -Doo Linux and Whole Doodoo -Doo Linux. It also gives the date and time in the corner, and the kids can also put their name in for the username. And I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to go to Discover the Mouse. This helps the kids to learn how to use the mouse. You can either right click or left click to make the little designs pop up. And it's just to get them used to mouse movements. Ooh. Next I'm going to go to master the mouse. Quite a few things to do in here. Move your mouse around the screen to these the hand icon, you have to move the mouse to make visible or hidden pictures step by step. So I'm going to click on that. And this is just another one to help get the kids get used to moving the mouse. Just simply run over the picture. And as you run over the picture, another picture appears. With the camera icon, you have to take six photographs. I'm going to click on that. And this is another one just to help them get used to mouse movements, mouse clicks. You run the camera over the picture until it turns red, and then you click on it, and the picture appears. And with the broom, you have to lead every animal to its refuge by clicking on the left and right mouse buttons. I'm going to click on that.
and again this is just another game to help the kids get used to mouse movements and clicking and with the net the kids have to catch all items by double clicking on them another game to help them get used to the mouse and the kids could also play with puzzles by dragging and drop the pieces at their locations I'm going to click on that and here they would learn to hold the mouse and drag the item to its location Here there's more educational games if I click on the first one. Not only does it get them used to clicking on the mouse, this is a matching game by sound. If the kids push on the button, each button makes a different sound. And then as they match the sounds, each button disappears. second icon. You click on the animal and it gives the animal sound. Next I'm going to go to the third icon, the puzzle. Here the kids have to put the picture back together and it gives the picture down here at the bottom makes it very easy for them and it's another drag and drop game and now I'm going to go to the fourth icon and this is more or less like a pong kind of game and it gets the kids used to using the keyboard. And then if I go to the Pac-Man icon, this one's kind of cool. Up here at top there's the word pig. So they have to lead Pac-Man around and they have to spell the word. And as they pick up each letter, It sounds off the letter. And I'm going to go to here next. This is a memory game. Just like any other typical memory game. Made it very easy for the kids. And next. This game will help the kids get used to the keyboard. They have to spell out the word. And it also gives a picture of what the word is up top. Next. Four. This is a matching game with numbers. As they call Eight. out the number, the kids would click on the number. Two. Three. Nine. Next. This is the game that that first game led into that I was telling you about with the sounds of the animals. This game, you have to match the sound with the end. So they clicked on the sound button. They would give the sound and then they'd have to match the animal to the sound. And then finally, this is another game to help the kids get used to the keyboard. As the letters drop, you hit the keyboard to make the letters disappear. Next I'm going to go to Tuck's Paint. Another good tool to help the kids learn mouse movements, learn how to draw, 
just have fun making different designs. They also have the option to save or print their designs. Now I'm going to go to more educational games. Welcome to G Compre. There's a variety of different games for the little ones in here also. It begins with discovering the computer, play with computer peripherals, so I'm going to click on that. And then you can choose which peripheral you want the kids to learn with, the keyboard or the mouse. Next I'm going to go to the Discover Activities. There's a variety of games for color, sound, memory. Black. Gray. Fantastic. Very good at complimenting the kids on their progress. I'm going to go to the pig. If I went to the bear icon, again the goal of this game is to get used to bounce movements. Back. As you can see, there's a large variety of educational and fun games for all kids of all ages. And then there's many Doodoo Linux, which just loads a very few applications and games. So I'm going to go to whole Doodoo Linux. And now we have the same categories we just went through, except for a lot more things added to it. Right now we're on the Learn tab, which has a Child's Play and the Educational Suite. It also has Canagram. Which is a spelling game. It has K geography, which is a great way for the children to learn the geography of anywhere around the world. And there's also Hangman, which we all know what that is. R. This is another keyboard game where you match the letters with the R. keyboard button. And there's also Potato Guy. Here the kids can create their own Potato Guy by using the preloaded icons to the right. If I were to click on one Hi. and drop it, each time I pick an item up, Hi. it says what that item is. Nose. Mouth. And also every time they move the object, it'll also say what that object is. Mouth. Nose. We've already been here and we've already been to Tux Paint, so next I'm going to go to work. This would be more for the older children. There's a calculator, text editor, under accessories. You have the terminal. Also, you have the file manager and the archiver. There's also a dictionary, and here's the web browser here. If I were to click on the web browser, and I'm going to go to Google. And now I'll show you what I meant by the web browser being pre filtered. If I were to type in anything bad, uh, say porn, and hit enter, a window is going to pop up saying Doodoo Linux thinks that this page is not for children and it will not let them go to that page. I think that is a great feature. Next I'm going to go to enjoy, and this is the fun section of the operating system. This is where all the games are. If I were to go to adventure, there's Abe's Amazing Adventure, Pingus, Super Tux, and Tower Toppler. Under Arcade, there's Seferino, Circus Linux, Frozen Bubble, Nometris, Help Hannah's Horse, Nikwi Deluxe, and Robots. And if I were just to click on any of these, I'm going to click on Circus Linux.
This is a good hand-eye coordination game. Where you basically have to have the clown flip the other clown up to hit the balloons. And Frozen Bubble is also a fun one for the kids. Same as any other bubble game, you just have to match your colors up. And get rid of all the bubbles. And then there's also board games. Chess, Lagno, Mahjong, and Mastermind. There's card games. You have Solitaire, Blackjack, Free Cell, Solitaire, Cape, Poker, and Tally. There's logic games. There's everything from five or more Sudoku and Nibbles. And then under sports, there's Food Billiard, Cough, which is a miniature golf game, and then Super Tux Cart. Now under multimedia, here there's a lot of fun things for the kids to do also. There's Hydrogen, which is an advanced drum machine. There's the jukebox, which will play the music. There's a movie player, which will play movies and songs. There's a piano keyboard, which will allow kids to play songs using the keyboard keys. There's Songwrite 2, where the kids can write their own songs. And then there's Sound Record. And then there's Stop Motion, which creates animated videos from photos. And then under Tune, there's System, which has all the different configurations. You can change the username. You can select the default sound output. You can configure mouse settings, printing, and volume control. And that's pretty much it. That's Doodoo -Doo Linux. Again, it's a great operating system for kids 2 years to 12. Very safe, much safer than Windows. A great way for the kids to learn how to use the mouse and the keyboard. Learn colors, letters, numbers. And just to have fun on the computer without having to worry about all the bells and whistles and everything else that goes along with it. Again, it's free, easy to download, easy to burn the disk. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.